Let's face it, artificial intelligence is here to stay. And right now, the global AI market is valued at over $136 billion and projected to increase by over 13 times in the next seven years. And if you look at just the United States, it's projected to grow $299 billion by 2026. So with over 48% of businesses Using artificial intelligence in some way today, and with that number continuously growing, how do you and I get in on the artificial intelligence craze as investors? So four different stock market options that you can take advantage of today to get rich tomorrow once artificial intelligence continues to grow. Now, of course, lately there's a lot of discussion around ChatGPT, the AI powered program that you can ask highly intelligent questions to and you get a highly intelligent response. Now, while OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, doesn't trade on the stock market, at least not yet, there are a few other AI companies on the rise. So that means what we're going to look at are four ETFs in the AI revolution. Now, unlike an individual stock, let's say that company goes out of business or they have some serious trouble. Of course, if you're only invested in that one stock, you go down with the ship. Difference with an ETF is it holds sometimes 50, 100, even thousands of stocks within one ETF. That means if one company does have a problem, the whole ship doesn't sink. You're protected with the power of spreading your eggs across many different baskets. In each of these ETFs that we're gonna talk about today with the AI revolution, I'm gonna give you my personal ranking to see which one is best out of all four of them. But of course, you gotta do your own research. None of this today is financial advice. This is only edutainment for you, and then you gotta take it and do your own research. Because after all, why would you trust me? I'm just some guy on YouTube that some people in the comments say I look an awful lot like Woody from Toy Story. So you gotta take that for what it's worth. All right, first one up on deck, B-O-T-Z. We're gonna call it Bots. Managed by Global X, this is actually the company behind the famous QYLD ETF, if you're familiar with that one. Bots has a total of 49 different stocks within it, and a majority of its stake is in NVIDIA, Keyance, and Intuitive Surgical. So as the world continues to focus on how do we become more efficient with how we manufacture products, ship those products to companies, ship those products to customers, and also how do we make sure that we can treat people for diseases, even get surgeries with robots in the future? That's some of the companies that BOTS is investing in. Now, all ETFs do come with an expense ratio. That doesn't mean that you get a bill that you have to pay. That just means it's taken out of your portfolio once a year with the expense ratio percentage. My goal when I invest in ETFs is to aim for anything at a 0.30% or lower or somewhere around there. That means for every $1,000 that you have invested, you'll pay roughly about $3 to the expense ratio. Now, specifically looking at BOTS, it has a 0.68%, so a little bit higher than I like, but that does mean you would pay $6.80 for every $1,000 invested. Now, what I think we should do is compare these AI ETFs to the S&P 500. Now, the S&P 500 is made up of the top 500 companies that are rated by market cap. So we're talking about the big boys, you know, the things that you know, Apple, Microsoft, Google, things like that. And what I'm gonna do is look at the last three years because it's not worth it to look in the short term. We need to look as long term as we can when it comes down to investing. And of course, the thing to keep in mind is most of this is actually new. AI is just starting off. I actually relate this to like the next chapter after the dawn of the internet. So it's not quite something that we can look at over 10 years or more. So we'll look at three years to start. Comparing bots to the S&P 500, you can see what's going on right here. Now, what I'm using is Seeking Alpha. I love Seeking Alpha. It's one of my favorite investing research tools, and you can get a discount by using the link in the description below. But if we look at the last three years of total performance, you can see a positive 41.5%, which is great for bots, but it does lag behind the S&P 500, which is at 66.84%. So we gotta take that into consideration. Now the goal would be, as we talk about the next three ETFs, is really to have the mindset of long-term because AI is still new. The S&P 500 has been around forever. Let's look at the scorecard. So I'm gonna give the expense ratio minus one because it is above, I would say quite amount above my 0.3% goal. Uh, I'm gonna take the AI investment holdings. I'll give it one point for that because it does invest in AI. It's not saying that it's AI and investing in something that's off the chart, that would be stupid. So I'll give it a point for that. Uh, dividend, it doesn't pay any dividends. So it gets zero points for that. Assets under management. Now this is a lot. It has a total of 1.73 billion assets under its management. 
with this particular ETF. So I'm gonna give it a point for that. And the return, while it's not beating the S&P 500, it is positive, it's not negative, so that's a plus. I'll give it a one for that. That means the total scorecard for bots is two. Wonder what the other ones are gonna rank up to. We'll find out in a second. Let's move on to the second ETF, and that's Robo, R-O-B-O, Robots. Yeah, these guys are clever when they name their ETFs. Now, this ETF has a total of 91 different stocks in it and aims to invest in companies that operate across information technology software, services, automation products and services, and robotic sectors. Most of the holdings are relatively split across the board at 1%. So the top holdings for this one is Intuitive Surgical, Kareem Holdings, and Kyants again. Now, now, of course, this is also the second time we've seen Intuitive Surgical. And I think it's kind of cool to point out that particular company right now. What is cool about Intuitive Surgical is that it was founded in 1995. So it's actually a little bit older, but it aims to make robotic products to improve the clinical outcomes of patients. So that's kind of cool when we look at the medical advancements. So not only medical technology, but medical artificial intelligence, and on top of that, medical robots. That's kind of cool. Now, I would definitely recommend checking out Seeking Alpha, type in these ETF, and look through all the different holdings. Then what you can do is take those holdings, do a little bit more research on the, each individual company. That way you know the type of stocks that you're getting into if you decide to invest in any of these ETFs. Now, the expense ratio for this one, oh, it's a little expensive for my taste. I'm sorry, but 0.95%. That's a lot. Now, if we compare Robo to both bots and the S&P 500, let's see how its total return is over the last three years. So I'm gonna come over to Seeking Alpha, we'll hit Add Comparison, and then all you have to do is just type in whatever ETF you want. Now in our case, we wanna check out Robo. And right there it is, popped up at the top. We're gonna to click on that, and then we're gonna hit Compare. Here we are, here's all the loadings. Now you can click on one, or just actually mouse over on one of these and it'll highlight all the different graphs, but we're gonna look at it compared to the other two. Now, you can see a more impressive performance over the last three years at 64.12%, which is very close to the S&P 500 performance and of course, beating bots. So let's pull up the scorecard and see how Robo stacks up. Expense ratio, way too expensive. I'm gonna have to give it a minus two just because that is the highest expense ratio we're gonna explore in today's video. Off the bat, minus two. Now let's look at the AI investment holdings. Of course, we talked about the surgical and some of the automation and some of the software that it's investing in. So I will give it a point for that. It does not pay any dividends. Zero points for that. Assets under management is impressive at $1.37 billion. So it'll get a point for that. And because the return is really good and actually almost up there with the S&P 500 over the last three years, I'll give it two points for that, giving it a total of two. So we're at a tie right now. Let's see what happens with the other two. Maybe we'll break this tie and see what's going on. The third on the list, IRBO, I'm gonna call it Urbo, and this is managed by BlackRock. The CTF has an impressive 134 different stocks and some of the familiar companies that you might already be familiar with, such as Meta, Nvidia, and Spotify. This fund specifically focuses on information technology with artificial intelligence software and robotic technology sectors. Now, of course, a lot of focus on the bigger companies. So you're gonna see a lot of companies, like I mentioned earlier, that you know. Now, what makes this ETF a little bit more unique and a little exciting is it does have a lower expense ratio at only 0.47%. So it is closer to my personal goal, but even better than that, it offers a dividend. Yeah, we're talking about a dividend on an artificial intelligence ETF. Very, very rare, but that dividend yield is 0.61%. Now that's not a lot for a dividend yield, but remember, dividend yields are very rare when it comes down to something new and emerging, and artificial intelligence is definitely new and emerging. Now, before we compare this one to the other two and the S&P 500 on the charting within Seeking Alpha, I have one favor to ask you. The favor is not to click on anything in the description. It's not to do anything. Really, all I'd like you to do is comment. Comment down below if you learned anything in this video today and if there was anything that was like really cool. That's all I'd like. Just comment down below and I'll do my best to reply to as many comments as possible. So coming back over here to Seeking Alpha, I'm gonna hit Add Comparison and then we're gonna type in IRBO and here we are with the iShares Trust Urbo. Let's see how we stack up here. Now this is getting interesting with all the different colors, but the comparison goes just like this. It's not as strong as the S&P 500 and certainly not as strong as Robo, but it does have a nice return at 45.46%. 
we're not seeing anything negative over the three year time period on total return, which is nice. So let's pull up this scorecard and see if this one can break the tie. Expense ratio, I'm gonna give it a zero. And the reason why is because it's probably the closest to my 0.3%, especially after just looking at that 0.95%, this one is looking a lot better. AI investment holdings, I'll give it a point for that. Dividend, it pays a pretty good dividend for an AI ETF. So I'm gonna give it two points for the dividend. Assets under management, I'm not gonna give it any points because it only has $306 million in asset under management, relatively new, that's okay, but that's why it gets a zero. And the return, while not as good as the S&P 500, and it does lag behind the winner of the total return so far. I'm only gonna give it one point, but that does give it a total score of four. So it's in first place, and the other two are tied for second place. But let's talk about number four, and that's ROBT. I'm gonna call it Rob T. With 115 total stocks, Rob T aims to invest in stocks of information technology, software, automation products, AI, all within the United States. C3.AI and Illumina are two of the top companies in the list of holdings for Rob T. Now this expense ratio is okay, 0.65%, not as good as Erbo, but it's fine. But it also offers a dividend yield. Not as high as Erbo, but it does offer a 0.31% dividend yield. So it'd be interesting if we compare this one to the S&P 500 and then the other three, how is this one's total return? Add comparison, gonna hit compare and here is how we're shaking up. So we're looking at a nice return of 57.66%, not bad. While Robo wins the game for the total return over the last three years, the real piece to remember, as I mentioned earlier, is AI is relatively new, but it is nice to see that Rob T coming out in the back here with 57.66%. Scorecard time, expense ratio. I'll give it a minus one because it is a little bit higher. AI investment holdings, I'll give it another plus one for that. Dividend, plus one. Now the one before got plus two, so I'll give this one a plus one because it's not as high as Erbo was. Asset under management, we're gonna leave that as a zero because it only has $240 million in assets under management. And return, because it's one of the higher players here in the game, I'll give it a plus two, giving it a total score of three. That means the total rankings for today's ETFs are Erbo, Rob T, Robo, and Bots all based on what I created, but always do your own research. But there's another way to take advantage of AI stocks that people don't really talk about. Uh, because you know, you could rush into these AI ETFs and that's fine if you do. I personally am not invested in any of them, but that may change. I'm not saying if I will be in the future or not, but what's cool about the top 500 companies when they're programmed into the S&P 500 is that you have to meet certain criteria. So the thing is an AI company can do so well that it then breaks through and gets listed in the S&P 500. Then as the AI revolution happens, tons of money gets flowing into the AI industry as a whole. Then as it's included in the S&P 500, those ETFs will grow higher. And then the flip side happens. If a company is not doing well and is starting to suck, then what could happen is that company gets dropped from the S&P 500. So it like automatically cleanses itself and always focuses on the top 500. So to look at it from that perspective, there's a lot of great ETFs that are focused on the S&P 500, such as SPY and VOO. Now to learn more about how that would work in your ETF portfolio, check out this video next. We'll see you on the next video.